هنتكلم النهارده في العاصمه الاداريه الجديده مساحتها 210 الف فدان بس لو هفضل لنفسي وعشتي زي ما انا مفضل دلوقتي اللي انا هعيش لا في القديم The Central Business District is like the crowning achievement. بمنتهى الصراحة أنا مش بقدم فن لحد فنان، أنا بقدم فن لحد عادي. It's my first time in here. And the iconic tower is, we would like to think, being a jewel in this crown. I see something different. We need that. We need a building like that. ونخرج منه كله في لاندسكيب وخضرة. في تكنولوجيا في مباني جديده في مصانع and if i find the chance to work in another project here so why not maybe this can be another dubai it's a new cairo it's not new dubai we are not the same anything we are egyptian أكتر حاجة ممكن تعبر عن مصر هو الشارع بتاع مصر نفسه فاهمة؟ آه لأن الـ الـ أنت عاوز تعرف كل حاجة عن مصر آه لازم تمشي في الشارع مش في بيتك آه لأن في الشارع أنت هتشوف كل الحالات اللي بتحصل This is a modern city, standing on ancient foundations. The first settlers arrived here over 2,000 years ago, beginning the legend of this great city. With its Roman-era fortress, Christian quarter, and Islamic mosques, this is the place that exudes history. Born and raised in this old part of Cairo, 25-year-old photographer Sharif focuses his camera lens on his own community. <laughs> He knows everyone here. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you know everyone. I know everyone because this is my people. You know, I don't fake that. This is my people and I like my people. So I'm from Sayyidah Zainab, this is all Cairo. So what's different from the old Cairo and the downtown area from there? Uh, downtown, like a French, like in like a Paris. So it's not original. So, but in here, yes, now is we are different. But in the past, we built like in Egyptian. So this is where that is the, that's the center for Egypt. It's very good. I don't want to do art for anyone. I want to do art for anyone. So this is nature and this is nature, but it doesn't have a relationship with the building. It has a relationship with the people who are living in the building. 7,000 years ago, the Ahrama and the river. And then me. And... أكتر حاجة إحنا بنحب الأرض دي. 
Sharef is a rising star in Egypt's photographic circles. But, however successful he may become, he has vowed never to leave this area. As an artist, Sharif loves the life in this old community. However, 22 million people live in Cairo, one-fifth of Egypt's total population. Like many other big cities around the world, pollution, overcrowding, and traffic congestion are major problems here. But Sharev has always been confident that a way will be found of solving them. اه احنا احنا كشعب فعليا احنا بنتصرف يعني ما عندناش الاوبشن بتاع اللي هو انا ما اعرفش لا انا هتصرف في مشكله دلوقتي الجو حر هنتصرف ما فيش تكييف خلاص هنتصرف هنعمل حاجه ثانيه نجيب مروحه نحط قدامها ثلج خلاص يعني احنا مش مش من الناس اللي بتعطل فاهم قصدي هو اه او اب تبقى فازلكه مننا بس يعني مصري وبر فرع Egypt's solution to Cairo's challenges was build a new city Massive, modern, and mind-blowing. In 2015, in a desert 50 kilometers outside downtown Cairo, Egypt began building its new administrative capital. It will accommodate 6.5 million people and house the offices of the central government. Uh, فدان دور العاصمه الاداريه الجديده ان هي تطبق فيها احدث المعايير اللي هت... اللي هتمشي عليها بعد كده كل المدن الحديثه ان شاء الله في المستقبل واللي بيتم انشائها في الوقت الحالي. In 2016, Egypt launched an ambitious plan, Egypt Vision 2030, aimed at reviving this ancient civilization. بكل تأكيد مشروع العاصمة الإدارية الجديدة أحد أهم محاور مخطط مصر 2030 مخطط التنمية المصري 2030. We are witnessing in the current era colossal projects all over Egypt, most significant of which, of course, is the administrative capital, because it does mark a quantum leap in uh, the development of Egypt. The central business district is like the crowning achievement within the uh, administrative capital. And the iconic tower is, we would like to think, being the jewel in this crown. Standing at 385.8 meters, it is the tallest building in Africa. This is the place where the design of the iconic tower took shape. Mahmoud Youssef is the project's managing architect. To him, architecture is a way for humans to achieve immortality. We do things that far outlives our lives and we constantly seek perpetuity. The design philosophy of the iconic tower is rooted in a symbol of ancient Egyptian civilization. Well, for the iconic tower, we had as an initial inspiration, of course, the, the well-known obelisk uh, of uh, the pharaonic uh, age. In terms of simplicity, elegant proportions, and sheer size and dominance in its context, it is at once a, uh, a destination 
and a, uh, a landmark and it provides of course orientation for uh, it can be seen from far away. Street photographer Sharif is not a fan of modern skyscrapers but out of curiosity he agreed to go with us to view this modern engineering marvel. This is my first time in here. This is my first time in here. This, that's my first time in here. I don't see, yeah, I'm so excited. I think I'm in Dubai. When I see this tower, see something different, you know, this is my first time I see building like this. Everything. Because in Cairo we don't have all this space. Because you, you must imagine, you know, no one in magic, uh, Egypt or something like this will be like that. It's amazing, man. It's not my type, but I like it, you know, because we need that, we need the building like that. Maybe this can be another divide. It's a new Cairo, it's not new Dubai. We are not the same anything, we are Egyptian. Remember that, every time. We are not look like anyone. If Egyptian makes that, I'm very proud. Why I'm not very proud? Bro, come. <laughs> come, 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 come. Yes, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, soon, my yeah. friend, the best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From I see, and Sharif. Okay. Sharif. 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 Yes. Uh, I'm very shy about to say that. I'm just welcome. making welcome. a commentary. Yeah, okay, just like go. this, make. Having said goodbye to Sharif, Mahmoud leads us to the highest rooftop on this continent. Afghanistan is the tallest point of Africa, right? So how do you feel about it? It's just amazing. As a civilization, as, as a people, uh, we always strive to uh, achieve more and uh, do what is meet and exceed the expectations if that, if that is uh, possible. All of us in the Middle East and the Muslims are going to dream about a project like this. We are going to dream about a project like this. We are going to dream about a project like this. We are going to dream about a project like this. We are going to dream about a project like this. We are going to dream about a project like this. بسبب ان كنا بنشوفه في كل الدول وبنشوفه في العالم وكنا بنحلم كمهندسين مصريين نشوف حاجه زي كده ونشتغل فيها. I'm curious about what's the most challenging part of building this building. This, this, this iconic tower, yeah. yeah, many cool. challenges, <laughs> not one or two. Yeah, all the challenges. This yeah, is the was... first time to have such a type of building, such height, such materials. Uh, we were remembering just yesterday, yeah. among the things, uh, the very first step in, the, in this tower is the foundation. This building, the highest in Africa, is sitting right on the bedrock yeah. with this raft. Now the raft itself is humongous. And uh, it's like five meters deep, yeah. five meters of, of, of solid concrete. And the pouring of it was uh, quite a feat by itself. I mean, it was a, a, a record-breaking, continuous pour that extended from 9 o'clock until 11 p.m. 
the following day. 38 hours of continuous pouring of concrete, seamless, without stopping. It's been very successful and we're very proud and very happy to have worked with the Chinese uh, contractor. Building a skyscraper like this requires a combination of technology, experience and management expertise. In 2016, Egypt signed up to the Belt and Road Initiative. The task of building its first CBD was handed to a Chinese company. من واقع تجربتنا طبعا والشركات الصينية والجانب الصيني ليها نجاح ومشهود في السوق العالمي وفي صناعة نطاحات السحاب الشركات الصينية حقق نجاح كبير وتم اختيار شركة الشركة الصينية العامة للهندسة المعمارية Five thousand workers, mostly locals, have spent five years completing this ambitious project. It's the job of 48-year-old Romani to install much of the equipment that makes this building function. heat ventilation and air condition. كل ما هي ضغطات, كل ما هي مواسير, كل ما هو عزل. كل ما هي معدات خاصة بالتكييف المركزي احنا بندخل الأماكن كلها صحراء وأتربة وغربان وحاجات صعبة جدا ونخرج منه كله في لاندسكيب وخضرة في تكنولوجي في مباني جديدة في مصانع وأنا بحب المجال دوت من 30 سنة دلوقتي Ramani has a nickname for the iconic tower. It's Horus, the sky god. The idea came during a visit with his family to the Egyptian Museum. I was today in the museum. I liked the experience of Horus. And my friend, I liked the experience of Ra. So I hope it will be called Horus, New Horus. أو راع نيو راع يعني حاجة زي زي كده قريبة من الأسام الفرعونية الجميلة بتاعتنا بتاعت زمان. اسمي سيرينا. Hey, my name is Thomas. من عندي 11 سنة. I'm 13 years old. I like to write and play with my friends. Goals. But goals are not what I want to do in the house. And I go to competition in Robert, but out of Egypt. I was going to make the best in the future. I think that the new capital will be a huge city and uh, have a new technology. Imagine to the fly car, car. Raising three children is never easy, especially if, like Romney, you want to give them the best. Studying at the best primary schools in Cairo, taking them to gyms and robotic competitions, buying a small villa near the coast. As a father, Romani has a long-term career plan, one in which his family is the main consideration. This is the first burg in the area. And they were asking for a manager of mechanics and they had a good experience for me. So I took the companies before that and the companies. وعملت جوينت مع سيسك حتى في السي في في المستقبل كويس مشروع كويس جدا يعني تمام اني كاتب في السي في عندي يعني ده هيفتح لي فرص 
ان انا اقدم في كذا شركه في المستقبل وهتساعدني ان انا اعرف مزيد مزيد من من الشركات والتكنولوجي العملاقه الموجوده في مصر عندنا Amal, a young engineer with China State Construction, has already participated in some global mega projects. And at the second floor, we have all the swimming pool area. We are just waiting to complete the waterproofing works to start the finishing. I graduated in 2013 from uh, Algiers Architecture School, and uh, since then I have joined the CSCEC. Uh, China construction, uh, first in Algeria, in the Grand Mosque project. I have worked there for between four and five years. It's not only investment that Egypt is striving to attract, but also global talent. The new city will offer a much more comfortable living environment than the old town. I like working in modern cities because I like to discover the new technologies. Now, with the development of this new capital, you will find also a modern city. And if I find the chance to work in another project here, so why not? I guess that this, this new administrative capital, with all the infrastructure that is being established here, will attract investors. So I guess a lot of people will be interested in coming to the new administrative capital. Especially considering also the strategic location of Egypt. From building the new capital to developing trade, business and an industrial capability, Egypt is working closely with China in the Belt and Road Initiative. هو استمرارية قصة نجاح مستمرة بين الفريقين المصري والصينيين حقيقة بدايتها كانت توقيع الاتفاقية ما بين الرئيس المصري والرئيس الصيني وحاليا النجاح اللي على الأرض اللي حضراتكم شفتوه ده نتيجة تعاون ما بين الفريقين. This uh, does uh, really raise the bar and symbolizes uh, our look to the future, our aspirations as a people, as a nation. For uh, ever growing uh, heights and for reaching for the stars in all fields of life, not just in buildings. <laughs>